we're going to make this as simple as possible. Um, we're we're going to take someone who is, uh, we're going to illustrate a 30-year period and someone paying $10,000 a year. We Some assumptions we're making is we're assuming that in this account that you is liquid, you can earn 2%. Now, in a 30-year treasury, it's a little above 2%. But in a savings account, it's far below 2%. But one of the things when we look at over 30 years, there's a good chance that interest rates might rise, and they probably will rise. And so I wanted to be um, fair and not just put zero, but assume that we're earning some money. So we're going to earn 2%. Another assumption that I'm making is 30% tax bracket. For some of you, this might be low. For some of you, this might be very high. Uh, but this this case study is for illustration purposes only. So one the first thing that I want um, you to notice is you're putting together you're putting ten thousand dollars in for thirty years. You're going to have three hundred thousand. You're earning two percent. the The taxes that you would have to pay are a little over thirty two thousand. But the end of thirty years, this individual would have three hundred seventy four thousand plus dollars in their account. Now, our greatest financial need is buying things in our life. And many people don't have um, an effective strategy to do that. So what happens when this individual buys um, cars? To illustrate this, I'm illustrating this individual buying five cars that are a value of $15,000. Buying the first car in the fourth year, where we're going to buy five cars and we're going to repay them back in five years. Now, in the first example, we're not even showing anything re being repaid back. We're literally assuming that someone's paying, taking $15,000 out of their account and paying um, with cash. And what this does is, and this is what most people do, and at one thing that you will notice is our account balance dropped from 374000 to 279000 And yet you only purchased five cars that cost you a total of $75,000. So the first kind of the first kind of principle that um, this this kind of shows is we we finance everything that we purchase. We're either going to pay someone else interest or we're going to lose interest. And in this example and I can show you a kind of a calculator here. This was um, when we this is when this is assuming that we didn't take out buy any cars. Our money would have grown to three hundred and seventy-four thousand eight hundred and forty-three dollars. But since we bought those five cars with cash and did not pay them back, we have to subtract um, two two hundred seventy-nine three eight seven, and that's a difference of a little over ninety-five thousand uh, dollars. And so. Um, it just it's just interesting that you, the 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 true cost was more than the seventy five thousand sticker price of the car. All right, so now so that's with paying cash and not paying it back. But what if you paid yourself back with interest? And the reason why I'm doing this in this this case study is we're gonna then compare it to the life insurance. But I want to compare the life insurance with the exact same cash flow cash flow. Um, as paying it with cash. So we're assuming you're putting $10,000 a year, earning 2%, paying your, your taxes, but instead of not paying yourself back, what if you paid yourself back with 5% interest? You're actually going to find that the account balance goes from um, goes all the way up to $385,144. And one, another thing that you're going to notice is that is a, even more um, at, by paying yourself interest um, with those cars, you're actually increasing your end value. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense because you're paying 5% and you're only earning two. And, and so, so this idea of becoming your own banker or doing this strategy, there's nothing special with life insurance. It's the same cash flows, but I'm just going to show you um, how you can do the same exact scenario. But if you use a specially designed high cash value life insurance, you can buy those same cars the same cash flows, and we'll see um, um, what the difference is. So I'm going to load in um, the the death, the life insurance, and you're going to first of all see that uh, we we do finance. There there's a cost to any strategy, 
In the cash strategy, there's no lag. This is the, the pure cost of insurance up front. Now, most life insurance, you get zeros, um, zero in the cash value of the first couple of years. And when, when we specially design these policies for cash value, we're, we're able to get good year, first year cash value, but it's still not 100%. So this person's putting in 10,000 and only has access to 7,691,000. And it takes a couple of years to get um, a positive annual cash flow. But then, so, so but one thing that um, to notice is, is the, the end um, of $571,463 is far greater than the $374. But we also have to remember that this, this life insurance, when money is, put in after tax, it's going to grow tax deferred and we can use it tax free. So really, we're not going to pay taxes on the growth. So we're going to take out the 30% tax rate, which now brings up our account to over $766,000. All right. So now we're going to buy those same exact cars and we're going to have a loan rate of 5%. Okay. So something, another thing to look at is, um, so we're not borrowing from our, from our policy, we're actually borrowing from the loan, uh, loan provision that the insurance companies have. So instead of taking our own cash, we're gonna take account loan. And, and so now, now what's happening is when money comes into these, these accounts, it's never, we're never taking our money out of, of earning money, it's gonna earn whether we borrow against it or not. So one thing to, to look at is you're buying the same exact cars, but you're paying $11,616 extra in, in interest. That's 5% going to the insurance company and not to yourself. So you're paying over $11,000 of interest to the insurance company to purchase those cars above the 70, 75,000 of what they're worth. And this is just kind of how the numbers get broken down. But the biggest difference is, is the, the balance, the balance difference between um, the cash uh, versus um, using your high cash value life insurance. And it's, it's, really, it's really quite simple. It's this money's growing without the tax burden. It's long-term gonna get much higher rates of return because when, when life insurance um, is set up properly, it's a long-term strategy. And so for the long run, it's, it's safe, secure, but it also gives um, some good rates of return. And so that's something that, you, that we can see. And I'm just gonna kind of bring, bring this over and kind of my notes to kind of revisit uh, what we kind of went through. So the first example is 2% um, no cars. The, the cash value would have been uh, $374,843. Then we start paying um, cash for the cars, but we don't pay ourselves back. And we get the five cars, but our cash, our end balance is, is $279,387. And those, those five cars that cost us a sticker price of $75,000 actually cost us um, ninety-five, a little over $95,000. So then um, what we did is what, well, what if we used our cash account and paid ourselves back at 5%? The reason why we did this is to compare apples to apples with the life insurance. And, um, and so when we do that, our cash value actually increases from uh, 374 to um, 385. And that's, I mean, if someone can do that, that's, that's wonderful. But if you, if you did that same scenario, but, but used... Uh, a specially designed life insurance policy that you get that same um, scenario, but now you have 700, 766,000, and that's a difference of $381,000 difference. And so this is just, this is a very analytical way uh, to look at the difference between using cash. And you know, a lot of times I compare it to option A as a cash account versus uh, option B, a specially designed high cash value life insurance account. And this is also um, a way you, you can see that um, there's a lot of other examples. You might have a business, you might have an investment, you might have an opportunity, a vacation. Like this, this is just a micro example, but, but the power is we want, you have money 
that's going to earn for you, that's going to work for you. But then you have so many opportunities and your need for buying things is great. And we want to put you 100% in control. And that's really what this strategy gives you. Is it gives you 100% control and you can withdraw the money, but you also have a guaranteed access through a loan provision. And a lot of people get caught up on paying interest, but I would pay $11,000 worth of interest any day to have this kind of difference of 300, uh, 300 plus thousand. So thank you for, for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please reach out uh, to myself at uh, Caleb at betterwellsolutions.com. Thank you.